It's tax return time in the UK and I've just done some numbers and for the third year running, my studio is running at a loss. Which sounds bad, granted, it's not great, I'd like it to make money, uh, but this building runs at a loss. Not, not my business in, enti in its entirety, my business runs at a profit, thankfully. And I'm going to talk about that and explain to you why the studio makes a loss and I still keep it. And it's not an emotional reason. So firstly, I work as a commercial photographer. Uh, I'm very fortunate. I have an agent. We shoot big campaigns. We do cool stuff. I live in a place called Leicester, which anyone who's not been here calls it Leicester or Leicester, but it's Leicester. Uh, we won a football trophy years ago and we were then known for a little bit because of that. And we found a king in a car park buried um, and we had a big, big to do. But I live in Leicester. Leicester is not the cultural hotspot you might think it is. Um, it is not the creative hotspot we might like to believe it is. Basically, in the UK, it, it kind of happens in London. That, that's how it is. Like in the States, it kind of happens in New York. In France, it happens in Paris. It's always been the same. It'll always be this way. It happens in the capital. This year, I have done one photo shoot for money in the studio because everything else we shot in London. Every time we get a big shoot, we go to London. We rent a studio, we rent the kit, we don't even take this kit with me. All this kit here, we've got hundreds of thousands of pounds of kit in a studio, which is just for test shooting. It doesn't go on jobs, we always rent the kit for several reasons. One, I kind of like a phase, um, but I can't really justify owning one because it, it would devalue too much. Two, I don't want to carry all this junk down to London with me. We need a lorry, it's a nightmare. And then we have to pack it up, put it down, anyway, chaos. So we rent it all. Every job, the entire kit is rented, often from the Pro Center, the Flash Center, one of these places. We rent the kit and down we go. Thankfully, the budgets allow us to do that. Um, it's not the same for everybody, but we're allowed to like rent our kit in and it's fine. It doesn't come off my feet. And it's because I'm in Leicester that this studio here doesn't make money. If the studio was in London, it'd be making a good profit, but it doesn't because there is no industry here for me. The only way that I can make a studio outside of London make money as a building is to rent it out because we can't rent it to clients for shoots because they want to shoot in London. They all do. Even if they're not from London, we shoot it in London. But the reason I have this studio is twofold. One is my partner and our kids, they are disruptive to say the least. It's very hard for me to work at home. And we have an office over there, which is where I do my admin stuff. And I sit in the office most days doing my work. Yes, I could absolutely do it from a spare room at home. But every 30 seconds, there's a, Scott, could you quickly, could you just, and then clattering of children, small tantrum, you know, the usual life stuff going on. So that's one reason I have that room for. But I could just have an office for a couple of hundred pounds a month. I don't need this, perhaps. You know, this is perhaps not not the money efficient way of doing things, but I like to test shoot. And we like sets, so if you can see behind me, that is my set for my next project we're about to start. I like to be able to build these sets. I like to be able to be the creative. I am at, at the end of the day, and it sounds pretentious, but an artist. I create art with commercial viability. So not a true fine artist, but an artist nonetheless. So I need a space in which I can create, in which I can do the personal work. Because at the sort of level I work at, we maybe do five big jobs a year. And the rest of the time, we're creating personal work to get those big jobs. And the big jobs pay, thankfully, enough money that we don't need to shoot every single week, every day, or like in other business models. But we do need to constantly make new creative projects. And for me, with the style of work I do, if I had to rent a studio every single time we did a test shoot, it would be rather expensive. The average London studio is 700 a day and being able to just come in here and just go like, right, today we're going to build this set. We're going to try this new idea. Let's see what happens. That to me is the justification for the money pit that is my studio. I also like to have naps on the sofa. Let me know in the comments below if you're thinking about getting a studio purely for creative purposes rather than for making money from the building. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.